many of you have been like, Carrie, I need to create content. I need to create it quickly. I need an easy way to do this. Now, some of you might say it's still not easy. Trust me, it's easy. If you're like, it's not easy, then you need to hire someone. But here we go. So I thought what I would do is create 200 posts for Instagram. Okay, not really. We're going to do seven days of content. I really do want to do 200 pieces of content, but here's what I know. I need to give you a win. So we're going to create a, we're going to create seven posts for Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want to post. You can use the post pretty much anywhere. And um, we're not going to brainstorm the idea, but I've already created the prompt, uh, but this is what you need. I like to create prompts in a place where I can reuse them. And so, for example, I have open Google Docs. You could use Microsoft Word. You could use Microsoft Excel. You could use Evernote. You could use Trello. Pick a place so you can keep your prompts. You could also save them in ChatGPT. I just have found um, that this seems to just be easier. So we're going to create um, a prompt. We're going to use Google Docs. Then we're going to take that prompt and we're going to throw it into ChatGPT so we can create the seven posts for Instagram. Then we're going to hop over to Canva and then we will use in Canva an app called Bulk Create. So let's do this. All right. So here's Google Docs. So I created a post, create uh, seven social media posts on rent versus by explaining the value of home ownership. Now, I did give ChatGPT some examples of what I really want. You don't have to give examples. ChatGPT will give you some examples. But there are sometimes there are things that I really want people to get. Like every time you pay rent, you're paying someone else's mortgage. If you stay somewhere for 30 years and you pay rent, you paid off their mortgage. So sometimes I need to make it, you know, like really impactful. So you reach out to me. So here's the post or here's the prompt. It's already created. And then notice what I did with the prompt here. I'll make it bigger, right? You're like, here, can you just make it so we can see it? Um, so you'll also see, so I gave some examples. Don't worry about the grammar. ChatGPT reads whatever you wrote. Uh, and then I said, create the post in a table view with a number column, strong title, description, call to action, and a column with hashtags. Because I'm going to use the description and the hashtags when I actually post on Instagram. So let's copy this first prompt. So this will be prompt number one. Because you can, you know, you could actually use this for 30 days. Then we'll hop over to ChatGPT. Let's see, I got it open here. And then let's just make the post. So we'll paste here. I probably should zoom in again. You're like, zoom in, Carrie. Oh, am I logged in? I'm not even logged in. You know, I'm logged in. I was trying to use the other version of ChatGPT because mine is on steroids. We're going with this. I will remind you that I am using the Omni version. If you're not paying for ChatGPT, you would get it into, uh, you would use 3.5. And I do like this new temporary chat. So I will paste down here at the bottom and then click enter. And then let's see what ChatGPT gives us. Like that table view? <clears throat> I like the table view. Now, what I didn't mention is that even though we, um, we're using Google Docs, Canva, and ChatGPT, you will also want Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. So what I will do is I, will, um, I like to copy this, and I like to copy it this way. Now, some people will say, well, Carrie, just use um, the copy feature here. The reason why I used my um, mouse and I just used the lasso kind of version, kind of highlighted, and I use control C, command C on a Mac, and then I'll paste this into Google Sheets is because then it will actually work with the spreadsheet. So let's open Google Sheets. We'll click new sheet. And then I'll click on cell A1 and then control V or command V to paste. And just because, let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Then I will, let's see, will this work? Yep, that works. So we're good. So, and I just double clicked in between uh, two of the columns. So this would equally justify it for every column. You don't have to do that. Then I might want to title this. So I'll call this um, prompt uh, rent 
how about seven days rent versus buy? Then what we'll do is we'll click file, download, 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 comma separated value. And once you download your spreadsheet, you'll hop over to Canva. Now I've already selected the layout that I want, but if you have never done this, simply just log into Canva and choose Instagram post and then search in design, you can search real estate. So I select this one because it looks like it really might just work. And I'm gonna build it out as if I was building this out as a realtor. I'm Carrie, designated managing broker of Caremark Realty Group in Illinois and Florida in Illinois. Um, and, and in most states, your name can't be larger than the company. So you'll kind of see how I work. Always make sure that you are not blindly advertising. So first thing I'll do, is I'm going to, because I pay for Canva, I'm going to go to styles and I'm going to choose my color palette. And then I'm just going to have this kind of update. As a matter of fact, I think this kind of works. Kind of works. Let's click it again and see what we get. Yeah, I think I might go with that, but I'm going to change this background because for some reason, when I uploaded my palette, that's really not my brand colors. So I just fixed it. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to go over here and look for, let's see. I'm going to look for my um, image. So, of course, I got a few. Let's see. Most recent, we'll go with this one. I'll grab a photo. I seem to like this one like the most lately. Center it a little bit. I double click to center. And then I am going to scroll down um, and look for logos. Where am I? Coming? There's the logo. I'll add the company logo. I'm going to move this to maybe, uh, maybe, 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 let's see, I'll put it right above that. Kind of looks good. Now, what I don't see is you don't see my information. So I might want to add my contact information. So I'm going to, you know, do a little bit more than what you might do. I am going to go back over here to the left and scroll up to, uh, I think I'm going to use an element. And then I'm going to use a shape. And I think I'm going to use, not think, I know, I'm going to use this one. And I'll move this to maybe here. And again, that's just not my colors. So I'm going to change the color. And then I'll go back over. I think I could just add the text. Let's see. If I don't like it, I, I can always change it. Uh, We'll shrink this a little bit, move it over. This is where you the, the creative kicks in and you're like, okay, what do you really want to do, Carrie? So, you know, and I, and I can't even say that I 100% like the font. So I might, you know, play with the font a little bit. I might even, uh, let's see, click these double arrows. What do I, what are my options? I'll get rid of the all caps. Uh, don't like that it did this. So we would definitely correct broker. We correct managing broker. I like things capitalized. I think, I think I need to put my glasses back on. Uh, so this could work if you, you know, of course you can come back, you can edit this a little bit. These double arrows allow you to, you know, change, you know, your position allows you to, you know, change the height, letter spacing, you know, line spacing we could fix that a little bit, maybe. Yeah, maybe that works. You could put your contact information, email, et cetera. I think you get it. The reason why we're building out just this one image is because when we do bulk create, my name will already be here, uh, maybe contact information. I won't have to add this to every single page. Okay. So now, you know, I really want to make sure I, I can see this. So designated managing broker, Carrie Little, I can put my degrees, but we'll just go with simple. The next thing I'll do is I want to hop back over to my um, what my spreadsheet looks like. And I really want to see how long some of these titles are. So this title has, you know, about seven words. My description, you know, I could probably kind of figure that out. My call to action, like how long is that? Not, you know, call to action isn't too long. Description isn't too bad, but the longest title is about seven letters. So when I hop back over to 
Canva. I need to look at what my options are. So, um, so these are some of my, um, why can't I think of what I want to call this? Well, um, these are, these are, we'll call this my, my data or my content. So I have three of the three options where I can add some of the content. So we'll call, we'll, I'll call them layers, but text layers. So I know that I need my title to fit somewhere. And if I really want, so you do have to think this through a little bit. So if I were to go back to my title, I need my title to be, you know, something that you see that looks great when someone actually scrolls. So I'm going to actually move the larger version here. So I'm going to move it up a little bit. Then I'm going to move this option a little bit lower. I might shrink my title just a little bit. Move the description down and then I'll move this one up a little bit. The next thing I need to do is I actually need to attach my data to a later a layer. So if you've never done bulk create in Canva, the next thing you need to do is go over to the left and then scroll down to the option that says apps and then simply look for bulk create. Now you can scroll to look for it. That's totally up to you. Here it is, or you can search Canva apps. So I'm going to turn on bulk create, and then it also becomes a part of my um, my palette or my painter's palette. It's what's over to the left, all of my tools that I'm going to be using to build my images or my graphics. So the next thing I need to do is enter the data manually or upload. In this case, we're going to upload. So when I click upload, there's my download. So I double click. And so I have a number, a title, a description, and a call to action. The reason why I gave the columns a number is because sometimes you might want to say seven tips, and then you have one post, the second post, the third post, all the way down to number seven. So you could do that. I'm simply going to use the title. So when I click on this um, data or my layer, notice up here at the top, it says connect the data. I could also click these three dots and then choose connect the data. And so I'm going to choose title for this one. So the title is going to go here. Then I click the second element or data connect. And then I can click the three dots and then connect the data. And we're going to put in the description. And then the third option is the call to action. So I'm telling you what to do. So again, you have this option or you can click those three dots. We're going to go with the call to action. Now, I think that based on my prompts, that the call to action might be, oh, not that one, might be a little bit long because one of these has, what, seven uh, letters or seven words. So I might want to adjust this a little bit by moving it up so it, you know, it looks clean when we click continue. Now, take a moment, make sure the graphic looks the way you want, make sure everything looks like it's framed correctly. It's not like falling off the page. And by the way, this is why I want you to use templates. Unless you're really good at creating graphics, use the templates. Did I adjust them? Yes. Over to the left, bottom left, click continue. I have my seven selected, click generate seven designs. And now notice at the top, I have my new design. So this is like a mail merge if you've ever used Microsoft Word. You can also see that this is my original template. So if I go back to the bulk, you know, things got a little weird, but that's okay. So you can move things down. I can make, you know, my content a little bit larger. I can go to the next option and I can fix this one a little bit. This might take a few minutes, but it, but here's the great thing is I didn't have to create like seven different graphics. It's pretty much done for me. So I would take a moment, clean things up a little bit, make it look a little, you know, cleaner, you know, equally justified zoom in and out on a few things, make some of the text a little bit larger. Tip, I could go back and fix this on my, um, uh, you know, on my template or the master copy and then just recreate it. So yeah, I mean, I think this looks pretty good. Now I'm going to say I do have one more tip for you. My other tip for you would be is to change the graphics on the other six. So you can keep the original graphics for your first post if you like, or make this one the last one. Either one works. So here, I like, I think I like this a little bit. There we go. 
So now I'll go back up to the top and then over to the left under elements, take a moment and maybe think about what you would want in your image. So I'm going to put in, how about uh, loft? Let's try what, let's see what we get. I'll click photos. And then because this one is light and bright, I might go with this image. And then I'll, you know, let's look for something else. Maybe, how about this one? So the background of that one. Scroll down a little more, put in something else. How about bright bathroom? Yeah, you know, this is a little good. I like that. Maybe we'll go with that. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, like that. Think, I think you're getting it. I could, you know, do the same thing for the next one. How about uh, bright kitchen? Could you use the same image in every single post? Like, don't overthink this. Get to work. Like, let's get some things out on your social media today. Today, today. Hmm. I think I like the previous one. So I'm just going to choose undo. We'll go down to the next one. How about bright how about bedroom? Let's do a different bedroom look. And here's a tip. If you don't like where the photo is, double click, and then you can move it over. Scroll down. Oh, let's, let's do another bedroom. How about that? And then, and, and notice it looks like I'm changing all of them. So I'll do, how about a bright dining room or gaming room or game room or basement? I think that lamp makes it pop, don't you? Don't you? Is it just me? That's a little brighter than I want. How about that? There we are. So we just created seven social media posts, you know, pretty quickly, less than 10 minutes. And so now what you would do is you would want to come up to the top, maybe change the name, and we'll call this seven days of content, rent versus buy. You could call it Instagram if you want, or you could just call it social media. And then you, you can choose to share and schedule from Canva, but I often like to just go to my social media page and then schedule it right from there. So I can schedule it directly on Facebook under their meta business suite or for Instagram and Facebook for my business pages and then Instagram, or I could go directly to Instagram. I can also now post these types of posts on YouTube. So you literally have seven posts that you could share on your stories share in your feed on Instagram. You could share on Facebook. You could share on YouTube. You could share it in your stories on Snapchat. You could share it in your stories on TikTok. Sky's the limit. There you go. Let's get to work. If you do have questions, type them in the feed. Take a second and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about ChatGPT and maybe even Canva, make sure you go to my playlist on ChatGPT. I am Carrie Little, the designated managing broker of Caremark Realty Group in Illinois and in Florida. I would love to connect with you. Make sure you also find me on TikTok and on Instagram.